What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. We're two days away from the Super Bowl, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be happy to have this season finally in the books, okay? I am so sick and tired about the Eagles, you know, going to the Super Bowl and everything. I'm just ready to start all over. But I can understand how come the Cowboys being America's team. And, and let, let, me, let me clarify this, too, because I know people still get triggered by that and say, we should be America's team. Okay. Understand the Cowboys were called America's team back in the 70s, okay? Because of, like, you know, having Captain America, you know, uh, Navy, former Navy, uh, Naval Academy graduate Roger Staubach, you know, winning the Super Bowls and everything else. They were the most popular franchise, okay? In the same way, we were known as America's team. The, the Steelers were known as, you know, the Steel Curtain and, you know, there was Air Coriel and the Purple People Eaters. It was just a name. However, for those out there that are trying to say New England should be America's team or the 40 Winers should be America's team. Listen, technically, if you go by the popularity numbers, sorry. We got you beat. We got you beat. You go by merchandise sales. You got you beat. Go by attendance at the games. Got you beat. So when you say what fan base is the biggest, makes the most money, has the most fans that show up, scratch off all those or check off all of those boxes because it's all the Cowboys. Whether you like them or hate them, it's a fact. But I can see beyond that why we always get everybody's best game and why we are so hated. Let me be clear here. It's actually a travesty for all the other teams out there. We haven't done anything in a long, long time. I, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. We have been failures for a long time you know you think about teams that have been constantly doormats that have gone and won the Super Bowl gotten bad and won it again since we have think about Tampa Bay Tampa Bay with the creamsicles and stuff they won the Super Bowl went back to being the laughing stock again and then won another one think about the, the Rams formerly the Lambs they won two since we have the Eagles the Eagles God this is the fourth Super Bowl the Eagles have gone to since we have the Giants won two more you know the only team that really hasn't done something is you know we're talking about the commanders and so when you start thinking about that the fact that even the Arizona Cardinals have been to a Super Bowl and you look at the Cowboys Honestly, we don't have anything to crow about. But here it was, last night, the NFL honors. Let's be clear here. It was all about the Dallas Cowboys. It just was. You know, here it is, the host, Cowboy fan, wearing a Cowboys dress. Wearing a Dallas Cowboys dress. The jokes, all going back at the Cowboys. How many times did we see Dak Prescott right there with Micah Parsons in the first and second rows? How many times did we see them? How many times did we see other quarterbacks out there, other players? And let's say we're singing like Kirk Cousins. The only way Kirk Cousins could get up there was, I got to sing and make a fool of myself. Right? So... Here it is, as much as you all hate the Dallas Cowboys, without the Dallas Cowboys, what would the football world be without? What would it be? 
Because, you know, quite frankly, you could look at the Jets and say the Jets have actually done more since we have, right? They went to, what, three FC Championship games? They ain't talking about the Jets. They ain't making jokes about the Jets. They ain't showing the Jets. They're just not. And here it is. Here it is. This is what's amazing. This is what's amazing. And I can see why you Eagle fans are so bitter. You guys are playing in the Super Bowl on Sunday against the Kansas City Chiefs. The price for the tickets may end up being less than last year. And we're talking about a country that has had, what, 9% inflation? 9% inflation? And with the Eagles being there, the price is going down on tickets? You're about to be in the Super Bowl, and the Dallas Cowboys are all they're talking about on NFL honors. You get no respect. No respect. Your coach, Nick Sirianni, wasn't even considered for coach of the year. Wow. I'm just saying. I can understand why people hate us so much. But I will say this much. Oh, and then of course we get two more Hall of Famers in there. So yeah, the hate is real for the Dallas Cowboys. People get sick and tired of seeing the Cowboys, especially with us not producing. I'll be honest with you. I'm sick of us not producing. I'm sick of us not being Super Bowls. We have to fix that shit. And Jerry, that's on you, bro. I, that, that's on you. I, I, I'm sitting here, you know, I've, I've had a long trip to come back from D.C. where I was working and I took the beltway around instead of going back through town. But I started thinking, and, and I, I've got to go through and get some of the numbers stuff when I get back to the studio. But thinking about Jerry Jones, the GM, I feel like we're in an abusive relationship. That, that, that we're battered as fans. As many times as I've heard Jerry Jones talk about how he sucks at a G, as a GM, but yet he's still the GM, it's kind of crazy to me. It's kind of crazy. Jerry Jones, the GM, stinks. And I think of an example of somebody who literally made the exact same mistake that Jerry Jones did, but Jerry made it even worse. And he got fired. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll have more on that after I get back to the studio. I got work to do in the workshop. We got our live stream at nine o'clock um, and so on. And uh, we got to get ready for the Super Bowl. But it was a cool night, though, to see Dak Prescott get Man of the Year and to see Joe Goose Sports up there with him. That was crazy. That was crazy. All right, good people. Hope you're having a great day. Peace.